So I'm working on my mom's Passat on the weekend. Uh, first check engine light uh, issue at hand here. Uh, I scanned it uh, at her place with a mobile scan tool that I have. Uh, it works with the uh, Android phone. It's actually a Mac tool um, interface. Uh, it only showed one code. Um, what was it? Uh, EVAP flow malfunction or something like that. So something probably to do with the purge valve. Um, VCDS looks like has got three codes uh, showing. So again, that shows the um, effectiveness of using a dealer equivalent uh, scan tool. It's able to show pretty much all codes that are stored. Um, I didn't get a chance to check pending codes or even if that was an option with the uh, Mac tool uh, scan tool. But anyways, uh, EVAP emission system incorrect flow catalytic converter efficiency below threshold. I might try the uh, Scotty Kilmer method of cleaning it and brake boost vacuum system mechanical malfunction. Um, I'm not going to worry about the top two too much, the EVAP. Uh, I'll quickly smoke test it to see what's going on. Maybe there is a leak. Uh, although, sorry, uh, blonde moment. <laughs> If there were a leak, it would have a different code. So emission system incorrect flow would, in all likelihood, point towards a uh, purge valve issue. Either the valve sticking open too much flow or not opening at all. Um, again, it's pointing towards incorrect flow. So smoke testing should not be an issue. I guess it could be, but uh, usually it would say a leak then because, again, the leak detection pump would... Uh, be checking for a leak and would then notice that there is a leak. So um, let's have a look what we find. I'm not going to clear them yet. And I might run output tests here actually real quick. EVAP purge valve should be clicking in a few seconds. It does seem to click consistently. I'm not going to go through all the other ones. I'm going to remove the valve and check it for flow, physically check it for flow by blowing into it. Looks like somebody was in here before. Sometimes these are moved when replacing the air filter and somebody just didn't put it back. So flow is in that direction. If you take off the boot or the mounting grommet, you'll see an arrow pointing into the direction of flow. And the reason I mention that is because you can then check for uh, charcoal canister pellets. So there's the arrow, it's pointing in that direction. And a flashlight. Look for debris, and there might actually be some debris in here if I'm seeing it right. I know that's probably just the filter element. But what you can do is you just tap it and look for debris. You can hear it, it's clicking nicely. And remember, flow is in that direction. So you can just blow into it. And basically try to get it to act up. And this is a one pulse, uh, one pulse for 500 milliseconds.
It's actually it's actually quite difficult to blow through it. You can hear the air escaping, but the actual flow isn't really there. So I think this valve is restricted. Let me see if I have another used one or a good used one to compare with. I feel confident that this valve is restricted in terms of flow. You can you can hear the uh, the pitch or the tone change, but you cannot hear my blowing. All right, that was in the uh, 500 millisecond. Yeah, there's just an initial pop as the valve opens, but there's no real flow. There's a little filter in here, maybe if I take that one out, but the problem is once you take that filter out, any type of charcoal debris from the charcoal canister can actually go through and then get, enter the engine. Um, and that's obviously no good, that's why they have a filter here. So anyways, uh, I feel confident replacing this valve. I've mentioned it before, uh, anything older than five to eight years, uh, you can consider this a tune-up item and I have no problems replacing it uh, at this time. Maybe next weekend uh, when I get the new one then or install the new one I'll take another video and then splice that in behind this video uh, or it'll be a two-parter with an update. Okay so I've got a new purge valve here, Bosch replacement. Um, the noise factor in the shop is a little bit more intense, so um, meaning it's not as quiet as when I tested the old one. So maybe we'll hear a difference or not. Flow in that direction. Using my injector tester like last time. I need my jumper wires. That's a square connector that's not going to fit in this oval. So I have to use this adapter. And I think last time, I, well, all I did was pierce through the uh, insulation. And hopefully they're not going to make contact. Attach one here. Another one to this side. I'm gonna blow, blow into it from this, this side. First, make sure it clicks. It clicks. Yeah, you can, I don't know if you can hear the difference in sound here uh, with the. 100 pulses not so much, but with a single pulse you can hear the air rushing out. Okay, I'm going to put this one in, that's going to solve the uh, EVAP flow code. <laughs> 